OK, opening uh, day two in the National Hunt as well with a King George the Sixth chase. Grade one event here at Sandown. <clears throat> We're going to wait for the runners to come up. So it's over three miles. So number one, Battle of Woodland. Joshua Sutherland, two, Cider Gold for Del Hinton, three, Spanish Steps and Martin Needham, Tower of London for Paul Roses, four, Years in the Making, Joshua Sutherland, the two-to-one favourite, six, Aero Love for Molly at Surfer, seven, Argyle Gate for Jim Murray, Festinato, Tan King is eight, Heidelsham for Paul Roses, nine, Holly House, Stu Gray is ten, No Pain, No Gain for Pontypool, along with Pulling Your Leg Master, eleven and twelve, Rambling Oats is thirteen, Visionista is fourteen, and fifteen, a story into the first was Zelda Des Moines, Darren Thompson, Quick here over this King George VI chase. And led into the second by Rambling Oats, John Morgan. The only people that can put a torch to his front runners are Alex Jerry and some of Carl Arrogantis horses. And the rest of us don't appear to have that many front running horses. So Rambling Oats leads by six or seven to the rest of the pack. We'll let them just settle along. against the fence, Heidelshun and Tower of London, all over that one, we've lost one, Holly Howe's gone at the third, bad luck to connections, already into the fourth, everybody's over that, so this shouldn't be biased, bloody thing didn't, jockey jumped off the Holly Howe, idiot, anyway it's Rambling Oats that still lead us over the fifth, Small ditch as the remainder get over it. A few slow jumps towards the rear. But it's Rambling Oats by about 10 now to Tower of London and Heidelsham. Side of Gold Festinato. Inside of that is Years in the Maker. Battle of the Woodland. In between those is Spanish Steps. The first one of the Clutterbuck horses against the fence is No Pain, No Gain. Out wide he's got Pulling Your Leg Mast up. Argyle Gate is the wisest of all. And they're just the two at the rear at the moment are Visionista and Zelda Des Moines. But down just one. Still got over two miles to travel. Just another 12 fences to take. But it's Rambling Oats. Up to the next. Gets over a plain one. Everybody else is up and over it. So Rambling Oats is one, Tower of London and Festinato two and three, years in the making four, Heidelsham five, the Pink Silks of Cider Gold is six, they get to another plain one, Cider Gold's lost his jockey there, went through uh, the top of it, so we're down two now, into the ninth, again they all get over it, kind of sticky jumps towards the rear visionist there I think was, uh, that may well have been Aero Love that didn't get over it very well. Let's start front as we go past the grandstand, the winning post with the circuit left to, to go. A mile and a half to travel. It's still rambling out by about seven. Two years in the making, Tower of London, Festinato, Battle of the Woodland, Heidelsham, Stanish Steps. No pain, no gain. Aero Love against the fences, Visionista. And putting your leg master, Argold Gate, tucking over towards the fence now, and Zelda de Moy. Get to the next, which is the water. But I've got a feeling Argold Gate may well have been being pulled up there, but I might be wrong. Time. Still rambling out to the plain one, the 11th. Oh, and Zelda Des Moines went through the top of that and right at the rear at the moment. But they're well drunk, strung out here as normal when we have a John Morgan front run up. They're really classed as true run races, but it's Rambling Oats that leads us by about four to years in the making. Battle of Woodland Tower of London, Festinite and Heidelsham. And they've got about three lengths from Spanish Steps, Visionista, No Pain, No Gain, Aero Love and Pulling Your Leg Mast up. And I can't see Zelda Des Moines in Argyle Gate at the moment. They're just bringing up the rear. So Rambling Oats. Leads by about four to years in the making. Battle of the Woodland, Tower of London, Festinarton and Heidelsham. Top trainers in that first bunch to get to the 13th, which is a plain one. He's over it. And Rambling Oats is uh, now being joined by years in the making. Battle of the Woodland, they get to the 14th. Poor jump there, actually, by Heidelsham. He's demoted himself back into sixth place. But up front, Rambling Oats still leads from years in the making. Battle of the Woodland. 
Pilos should making up some good ground now. Festinato. Tower of London. The others got a bit more even further detached now. So we're starting to lose sight of them. Although Vision is sorry, Aero Love pushing out of the pack. But it's still rambling oats inside the five now from years in the making. Heidelsham, Battle of the Wooden, Festinato, Tower of London. They've all been together, these six. And I'd imagine it's going to be between these, although Spanish steps in Aero Love trying to tag back onto this leading group but it's still rambling oats as they swing right-handed to line up for the judge now it's rambling oats from years in the making battle of the woodland out wide it's fest in nato heidelsham trying to run on tower of london's got a little bit to do from there but still got chances so we're inside the three it's rambling oats from battle of the woodland fest in nato heidelsham years in the making trying to run on but it's still rambling notes we've had no pain no gain pull up and Zelda de Moya as they all go over the 17th and it's all changed now it's Battle of the Wooden that takes it up from Festinato doesn't look like rambling notes has got anything left there's no point in front running if you've got nothing at the end so it's Battle of the Woodland from years in the making Festinato Heidelschen on the fences rambling notes but it's going to be over the last it's years in the making the favorite starts to pull away from Heidelschen who's trying to run on Festinato's got nothing left Ramley Notes and Battle of the Woodland and it's going to be a comfortable win for years in the making in the end Ramley Notes trying to catch up now but a little bit too late so years in the making takes it for Josh Sutherland and a fairly good week so far I think for Josh and it is the favourite 172 rated monster Heidelshin was second for Paul Rose third was Ramley Notes for Ghost Zapper fourth was Festnight for Tam King and fifth was Battle of the Woodland for Joshua Sutherland